Hello guys, this is Brandon with Old Vet Gamers, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a very quick Shogun 2 map, because one of my friends on Steam was wondering how to make one, so I just thought I'd make a video. Um, there's a few things about uh, making a map. Well, first of all, if you don't have the map, map maker, it's pretty easy to do. All you do is in Steam, go to your library, and then click tools and you're gonna look for total war map maker and you just download that and you have it well a lot of people are asking questions on like how why you're stuck down here with like the controls for viewing the camera are w a s d and then q and e to turn it like sideways well if you hold your like mouse rolling thing to scroll the page and you hit alt you can move up so you can have a um aerial view of your map. Uh, what I usually do, is these are the de deploy zones. This is where all your units are going to start out in the match. I usually click it and I'm going to move it back because I'm going to want a very, 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 very big map. So once I bring this back, I'm going to teach you some simple things. How to make structures, mountains, and rivers. And if I have time, I'll teach you guys how to make trees and other things. Um, Basically, what you're going to want to do is usually because once you're in game, actually playing on your map, if you don't block off this outer layer of this zone, this is where the entire map takes place. You're going to just see this empty space. So, what I usually do is I usually take mountains and I surround my entire map. And if you'll notice on a lot of other Shogun, Shogun courses, Shogun 2 courses, you won't see this blank vast land and you I don't I don't like it there so what I do is you see this normal and a absolute I go and I do it at adaptive and here's what you do is you go click this after you clicked it on paint right right here and then you go to height what you do is I go to brush this is what like your mountains gonna look like I like I don't know choosing ones that look kind of misshapen and it makes it look better once you once you make the the mountain what you're gonna do is you're gonna go scale I usually make it pretty big um, let's put it like kind of in the middle see, see how that is um, the pattern like on the ground then we're gonna go to height you don't want it too huge I'm gonna do about I don't know 50 sounds okay to me so I'll try 50 um, actually, I don't like that shape. Hold on. I'm actually going to change my, uh, pattern. We're just going to try this. Okay, that, look, that looks pretty good. And what you can do is you just click it and you can drag it. I like to just make the entire map just full of mountains, the back, the back of the map. I'm going to do this rather quickly so I have time to show you guys some other things about the game. Um, so I usually just do the entire outer s outside of it. And usually when you're making maps, change the pattern up a bit. Make the mountains look a little different. It'll, it'll be a lot cooler when you actually have your, uh, your map complete and you're actually battling on it, like online with your friends and stuff. So that you can have that. that just, this is just an example. So... Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of a river, I guess. And if you want units to walk through the river, I believe you need to put it at about point or 0 0.5, I think, is what units can walk through the water. But I'm going to make one that they can't. So I'm just going to do negative 34, which is humongous. But you, you normally won't need that. But this is just an example. Um, we're going to go with this pattern. Um, I don't want it so big, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to have it look like it's coming through this mountain, kind of, and I'm going to stretch it along through there. So it looks like we kind of have this like little pond here. Um, see that there's like a shadow right over here? That won't be in there in the end game. This is just in the map builder. Um, so, yeah, so you can create these, you know, whatever you want to do with the water and the mountains. Just It's just the height and the depth. Um, now I'm going to show you guys how to build a structure. Structures, basically you're going to want to go to create, 
you're going to go all the way down to there's buildings, vegetation. This is where all your trees and your buildings and stuff are. And then you can see how it says archery range. Basically, all you do is you can just rotate it however you want, and then you can just click it down. And there, and it'll be there in the battle. Um, there's a vast uh, variety of different structures you can do from walls to... You can build your own castle if you wanted to. There is so much. I'll see if I can find um, some, uh, like, uh, here, let me look for something good. Um, well, yeah, you can just kind of browse through this. It's pretty simple to put it down. There's a ton of stuff that you can do. Um... Uh, let me see. Um, towers like that. You know, you know, you can just look through it and make your own map. I'll I'll post another video of one of my made maps that I have. But um, that's basically it for now. Um, I'll make another video showing you how to do more with your map. I just thought I would uh, release this basic video. Thanks. Uh, and if you guys want to subscribe, we do mainly MMO games, but I have about 40 other Steam games that I'm going to be doing uh, reviews on. So, see ya.